Hey crew, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, and uh, we're doing an upgrade on the Sport Glide today. As you can tell, she's getting a new windshield. The windshield she's got on there, I'm not sure if it is stock or not. I think it's actually a little bit taller than the stock windshield, but it's nowhere near tall enough. It's a little clear windshield. Uh, I'll show you a shot of that here with the ruler on so you can see how tall it is. And then we're going to put a new clockworks on there. They come at eight and a half inches. That's the only size they sell for the Sport Glide. So we'll show you the difference in those also. I'm going to show you what it looks like riding the bike before the windshield and after. And then I'm going to tell you how much difference I think it makes for air noise in your ears and things like that. And she's also got these new Lex and Moto speakers. And uh, they're really good most of the time. A little bit of the time at interstate speed, 70 plus mile an hour. With the wind coming into your face and stuff, then it gets a little hard to hear. So hopefully this windshield will also help alleviate some of that wind noise as well so she can hear her new Lexan speakers is better. So uh, let's see how that works out. All right, taking the windshield off of the Sport Glide is really easy. One little clamp on each fork tube, then comes right off. You lay it down, you have about seven Torx bits on the inside of the fairing that you take loose. And then there are two Torx bits for the windshield. As you can see here, the Clockworks windshield is about two inches taller than the fact, well, I shouldn't say factory, than the windshield that was on this bike, but I think that's actually taller than the factory one. But uh, we've got her reinstalled. It's really easy to put back on. Basically, there's kind of like a, a ledge or a lip that sits right there on the triple tree. So you just slide it over the headlight until it rests on that lip and then reach around and pull those clamps back on and bang, you're ready to go. I think this tinted smoke windscreen looks really good with that blacked out sport glide. So uh, we're gonna take it for a ride here in a second. And I'm gonna see, I know it's easy to see over it, but I wanna see how much difference it makes for the wind noise and how I feel about it after uh, raising it up two inches and with that Clockworks patented flare. Well, I just took the Sport Glide for a test ride with the new windshield, and I definitely think that the height on it helps. It could probably stand to be a little higher and not be in my field of view, but I'm a couple inches taller than Firecracker. But because of the way that thing is made, and it's only got two little bolts securing it in there, it, I'm sure part of the concern is if you make it too tall, it's more apt to maybe shear off or break off or something like that because there's not a lot in that bat wing for it to mount to. I definitely think that the Clockworks flare does help with the wind noise on the interstate. Seemed like it to me anyway. I had been, you know, three or four days since I rode it before we installed the windshield. Firecracker put 400 miles on it this weekend, so what she thinks of it's probably, you know, a lot more important than what I do. She's rode it a lot, 3,000 miles with the old windshield, and now 400 miles with the new windshield. So let's see what she has to say. I really like the way the Clockworks windshield looks on my bike. I like this dark smoke tint and I think it looks really good on my bike. The height of it is about two and a half inches taller than my old windshield and I really love that it is. I feel that it drowns out the wind noise and I can hear my speakers a lot better than I could with the smaller windshield. Even though it's two and a half inches taller than my uh, old windshield, I'm still able to look over it and not through it. All right, guys. Well, there you go. I think this is probably the best windshield for the Sport Glide. I know there's some others out there that go taller. Uh, people talk about when you go taller, having to cut vents in them, different things. My concern would be how much taller can you go before you have to start worrying about that thing maybe being more apt to break or shear off or bend uh, flex because it sticks up so high above the windshield. But... Uh, I don't know. I'm not a windshield engineer. I do know I really like Clockworks. I like the fact that their windshields are polycarbonate 
and I think they look great and I think the flare technology does a great job of giving you more air lift over you than a regular windshield. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. Y'all stay safe, keep on riding, and we'll see you in the next one.